The people of the Carolinas are well known for their efforts in preserving nature. And here at the Carolina Raptor Center, great effort is applied toward preserving some of our fine feathered friends. So this is the trail where all the education birds are housed. Okay. So these birds are all birds that are trained to go out to school classrooms all over the region. So they're educators. That's right, absolutely. Okay. In Wonderful. Fact, in fact, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife requires that our birds have jobs. So the birds have to be employed. That's exactly right. Really, our first goal is to get those birds well and, and happy and back yeah. in nature. Oh, that's fantastic. But even for birds, educators are important. Good job. I understand that bonsai, the black vultures, have the intelligence of, of a human, maybe a young human. They but do, still about young. the learning capacity of a two to three year old child. Uh -huh. um, so they're very curious. So they're one of the smartest species we have here at the center. There you go, bonsai. Yes. Oh, wonderful. That's great. Such a messy eater. Yes, well. Yeah, there you go. It's got dirt on it now. Yep, so now he doesn't want to. <laughs> Ever heard of a picky vulture? He is definitely one. Tell me about this bird and where he came from. Well, and... this is Scout. And he's a mm -hmm. Harris hawk. Right. Um, they're found in the deserts of the southwest, so Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. And the big tie with them is just these guys are really cool birds. Harris hawks will hunt in um, what we call packs. They're considered the wolves of the sky, essentially. Wow. And they'll hunt in groups of about four or five birds. Wolves of the sky. That's fantastic. Here comes Willow. <laughs> Twelve different species here puts on a performance, Memorial Day through Labor Day. Every year, you can come right here at this uh, outdoor amphitheater, and you can see these wonderful birds of flight put on a wonderful show for you. There she goes. This is the largest flight cage, and inside, there's an American bald eagle that's been now fully rehabilitated, that's right? Correct, yeah. So came into the hospital, went through all the procedures, and he passed his mouse test. So he can actually catch, uh, catch wild prey. And, uh, and he's going to be released today. Wow. That's amazing. So we're here with Dr. Dave Scott. Dave, you are the veterinarian that kind of brought this uh, eagle back to life. Uh, tell us about the injuries when it came in and that transformation. Well, so this bird came in with a fracture of its ulna, which is a bone in the forearm, and it was uh -huh. kind of close to the wrist, and it was actually an, an old injury, so it had partially healed, and she was very thin because in that condition she couldn't hunt, and the, the extension of her wrist was very, very poor. So we had to fatten her up and do a lot of physical therapy to restore the range of motion to her wing. So her progress was really good, and luckily for her, we just had built a brand new, very large flight cage. She did really well. Here we are today. Great. Thanks, Doctor. You're Appreciate welcome. it. I really want to thank you guys for coming out here. What a tremendous crowd. What a show of support for this bird, for the community, and for us at the Carolina Raptor Center. It is my privilege to be here as we release this beautiful bird. We are lucky to have with us Dr. Dave Scott. And I want to let you know this is a very humble man, but he is one of the top avian veterinarians in the world. Not in Charlotte, in the world. This is exciting. Wow. Who can't be wowed by that? Oh my gosh. This eagle could end up in the Great Lakes, it could end up in Florida, we really don't know. That's the wonderful thing, there's so much to learn. And we don't know where this eagle could go. Birds have wings and they can go wherever they please. Well folks, I think you've seen why we wanted to show up at the Carolina Raptor Center and, and see this wonderful eagle off and wherever he wants to be, whether it's here in the Carolinas or if he wants to go somewhere else. Uh, but we like to think it'll stay right here.